welcome back to Seven Sages. Last time. Uh, let's see. Alright, I made the executive decision to do Bowser's Castle. That took half an hour. Anyways. Uh, the time. We start. The pet of a hundred trials. Attempts. Again. This time we're one level higher. But you know, I don't think I did attempt. I don't know. Whatever. Welcome to Long. Welcome to Long uh, Journey. The Long Journey Ahead. Where the challenge only really starts. Mm, on floor 99. Again, you can't access this place until, like, very, very late in the game. And there's no reward for completing parts of it. So why are there, like, Goombas, Goopas, and, like, lower-leveled enemies in the entirety of the pit? Who knows? I certainly don't. Not even the best farming spot, because that goes to the Monster Arena. <laughs> I'm just doing specialist from memory. Alright. Don't start with the fun action right now. <laughs> now, fluffy old boy. Uh, yeah, nursing this probably gonna date this. Well, it's the same recording session as last episode. Because I do these in sessions on one day. Because, uh. I I'd say I have, currently I have quite a bit of free time. Like, a good half of it is going to, like, be, just disappear next week. For me, at least. Yeah, right now. Because, again, remember, I'm recording this on the 8th. Of, uh, April. So, the time just actually goes live, uh, it'll be quite, uh, yes, the last episode will be in 21st, so it'll be the 22nd. So, yeah. Some time then, uh, I've, yeah, uh, I'd be in job for stuff. So, yeah, it's that, uh, goodbye free time. Yet it's only Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. During the first half of the day. It's from 8 to 2. Now I can say where I'm working or what I'm doing. But it's just. Because that, that's kind of makes us not need to know. Yeah, but with that goodbye free time, I hardly knew ye. Actually, I know you. I knew you all, all too well. Yeah. Guess we can talk about streams while we're just going through this. 
getting absolutely no goddamn luck anywhere to be seen. Uh... Words. I've lost words. Yeah, I guess I could talk about stream stuff. Yeah, I've... it's been going well with streaming. Uh... Rain World's been a lot of fun. Even when the short set will definitely be uploaded before this does. Uh, it's like, I haven't had a game that thing you need to like take a bit of a pause to have a breather. A bit of a breather. Because adrenaline. And that, again, as I said there, is a good thing. Don't, don't, don't misconstrue me when I say like, oh, it got the adrenaline going. That's good. That's, this is good. Uh, the last time I had something like that was when I was playing actually in Odyssey Untold 2. First etching game I played all the way through beginning to end. Even post game. And particularly I don't know it's the super what's with the super bosses in Atlas games, but they are Oh they're fun. Shiva playing Demi Bean. <laughs> Gold bosses. Most Atlas games have that moment of Okay. So they're very much puzzle esque battles. And uh Atlas RPGs. I know you find a really good one. Uh, uh, words. Spy one like shroom. Spy a full heal. Buy some emergency heals. Particularly the super special ultimate final boss, Velvet Rangers in Q2, and uh, the boss, which I will not spoil, the true final boss in uh, Etchin Odyssey 2 and Untold 2. Yeah. But I will tell you my experience with it, so you know, get an idea how difficult it is. Uh... I barely won that fight with, uh, the only character left was Protag. Protagonist, because it's of story mode, it, and Untold has story mode, so... You no, know, the Fenrir, Fenris, I don't know the goddamn names, Fenris, I'm gonna get it, Fenris Knight. Fenrir Knight, whatever. That guy, that lad, he was the only one who was uh, was alive by the end. Barely. Was not that much health left. Only because holy hell, his force gauge, his force ability is busted. Uh, but yeah. I barely won. <laughs> Mostly because Untold 2's party is 
wildly unbalanced. Yeah, I have, uh, the Prut Hag, who is busted beyond all beliefs in, in Endgame. Uh, you have Bertrand, who is your designated protector, who is kind of like Medic from TF2. He's... Is the protector an overpowered class? Not really. Is he is the protector the most powerful class? Yes, technically. It's the glue that keeps the team together. Even though it dies they die because tire aggro, I believe. I don't know. But especially with their magic defense barriers, they're almost a necessity. From my experience. Uh, see, so yeah, yeah, the protector, uh, I don't remember the lasses, one of the lasses, both the lasses names. But one of them is a war magus, who is essentially a healer. I don't know if they're really... Would I prefer an actual medic? No, but... Uh, the war magus is sort of like middle of the pack. But they also need status ailments, which... At the time... Which no one in the party actually deals status ailments. And it's a lot of chance for the Magus to inflict it themselves, so... Not really the greatest synergy-wise, but... Pretty good. It's a pretty decent healer. Uh... There's the princess class who is the princess so sovereign prince slash princess class from three. Not much else to say. Like it definitely got me into using boss and debuff. Well, just boss. So, um, yeah, kind of mediocre in the grand scheme of things. And then, and then, there is Flavio. I don't need to say anything about Flavio. Yeah. I don't know, I'm gonna elaborate. I don't need to say anything. And <laughs> I'm going to anyways. Flavio is an archer, a survivalist class who is essentially your long range DPS. And to say, um, he got out of sticky situations in Etrian would be an understatement. I really need to play on top 2 for the channel. But Etrian... Oh boy, Etrian is a grindy game. Now that I felt guilty of Uploading one level grinding video. Atrina is gonna be grind the series. Cause no matter what you're doing, 
you're leveling for something prior it's your to go to the next floor or to fight the boss or a Ferris Uncle and Elvin according to Persona Q or as I like to call it say uh enemies on field it's field on enemy which is enemy on field backwards because it describes exactly what it is Don't need a fancy name, it just tells you exactly what it is. It's an enemy on the field. Yeah, but no matter what you're doing, I or like farming for materials or whatnot. You're farming for something. So yeah. If you take the farming out of Etrian, you have a very slow a very very long track from in one dungeon, technically, technically it's actually multiple dungeons, it's just one big, one mega dungeon with different floors and layers. And technically you go straight from the bottom, straight from the bottom, straight to the top. Of 30 floors, which may not seem like a lot, especially if you are uh, well versed in mystery dungeon games like me. Like, oh, big being 30, 35 floors, big deal. Like, I know 100 floor dungeons. Well, eight floors is pretty big, and you are gonna, and enemies are tough as nails, and also FOE puzzles. There's nothing to say about FOE puzzles. <laughs> Their puzzle is revolving around the strongest, minus bosses, enemies in their respective, respective areas. So yeah, best left to avoid, but... Um, and there's usually multiple of them, so take multiple of your resources, and, uh, yeah, best left to avoid. I think I have all the series, uh, you included, a veteran, that has the best FOE puzzles overall. I'd say Q1 and Q2. Because FOEs in the Q are all, in Q are a lot stronger than they are in a uh, base game, Etrian. Or I should say mainline Etrian. And the worst one goes to Mystery Dungeon. No questions, it goes to Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> there is no puzzle. Just one big annoying enemy. Oh my god. I'm surprised I've been able to talk this long. That's seven less, yes. That's seven less attack or a lot more defense, but that's also. Right, my pen. It didn't hurt, though. Well, we'll be fine. Just needs to get lucky because confusion is going to be a bit of a pain. Ah, <sighs> yes, longer battles. Yeah, one thing I 
like, in terms of, like, uh, difficulty. Just because a battle is longer does not make it more of a challenge. Just, just watch Infinite Fusions for, um, reference. Just because you made a battle take two years to complete doesn't mean mean it's difficult. There's a difference between a test of endurance and an actual difficult battle. An actual diff and difficult pass. Like, the, uh, survive for one of the. Um, uh. Shoot, I forgot the name. Dead Rising achievements at one achievements that require you to basically go through one very big setting to get. Is not difficult because yes, to play absolutely perfectly, and you do this, that, and find spin plates while you're you um flip coins. No, it's asking you to sit for a really long period of time, which is not only not challenging, technically, it's also boring. Ah. Semantics. Bonk. Rap. Go Ouija, go Ouija, go Ouija, go Ouija. Darn. Point. Go Ouija, go Ouija, go Ouija. I love Ouija's little dance. I'm surprised I've been able to go this long. Well, not into the pit, but for like talking wise. Guess I just have a lot more stuff to talk about right now compared to last time. Definitely consists of like generally my stance and uh, stuff like spoilers because I don't know. Fuck it. But I, my stance on spoilers is keep it. <laughs> General stance don't. Why? Like. Fine. Yeah, jail stance don't. I, I, I wouldn't have nearly had much fun playing 
Rain World if I knew every little itty bitty detail. But also knowing a game ahead of time is also its own form of fun. Again, like games like Etrian, I'd recommend playing having a wiki open. But for some games, you don't really need it. That's actually better if you don't. Also because Etrian, SMT, most Atlas games are difficult as hell. Especially on the harder difficulties. Uh the fuck are you? Oh, they're ghost goombas. I don't know where the hell these guys show up. The hell they aren't in the final area. Some things, but don't. Just, just generally don't swallow games, movies, or other forms of media. You do. If you do intentionally try to spoil, you're kind of an arse. You're kind of an arsehole. Not gonna, not, not gonna lie. But like, also, back, tr also try not to backseat people. Get it. I'm somewhat guilty of this myself. Just heavily tutorializing. And backseating. I'm trying to get better at that. Yeah. Uh, generally don't. <laughs> yeah, genuinely, generally don't. Even if I may ask, why, why, what the fuck? Uh, as much as I would love to know, I'm also good with not knowing. <laughs> Because not knowing is funny. It can lead to some funny moments. But some things are also just... You can't... Yeah, you just... Can't avoid spoilers for... Because they're just... Too ingrained, one, two, so ingrained in the cultural zeitgeist. Two, they're stupid old. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what else to say. I'm just trying to fill a little dead air while we go through the next eight floors. So just I'm surprised again, yeah, surprised I've been gone on for this long. But okay, but wow, I've been doing a lot of talking. Especially because it's been like an hour. In terms of recording time. Well, overall recording time. Super Ultra. Super Ultra Mega Fucking Death Beam of Lasers and Death. And Nukes. Fun fact. 
These are the only areas that half of these enemies actually appear in. Mousely... Mousely Graham! My lord regenerate my health and happy a bit. Getting any skits for the rest of the run, so I don't care. Even if we do get a skip, I ain't taking the skip. <laughs> Hyperchog! Accelerator! I've seen way too much binary recent orange juice. Orange, orange, you're forgetting someone! Hey, I remember which one's the. I don't need to check the, which one's how far we are seeing, because I know which one's the last, last guy. Yuraga! Punch him to death! Oh, he's immune to him! He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Never existed, Jim. Change the world, my final message. Goodbye. As you can see, stuff is starting to fall off a bit. Super Ultra Hammer! Ah, uh, an even more powerful Golden Hammer. Well, that's useful. <laughs> Alright, last four. Okay. 
right? Things can still go wrong. Okay. Okay. Let's see your damage gonna be in special anyways. All right. Let's go. Round two, mother fuckers. Mamma mia. You've done it well to make it this far. I am Hucktail, and this is my brother group. All right, yeah. Start the fight automatically. Okay. Don't let me hear you, shit. Okay. Horses was us. Metal gear. Team combo. Bravo Blast. Mario Party One. Forces was up. Beam combo. Haste. Fire. The forces was us.
and set up separate generator. Uh, Mario Party 2. Beam combo. Probo Blast. Breath. Give haste again. Beam combo. They're silenced. Mario Party 1. Purple Blast, Bean Combo, I think we're good. But it's still gonna be on my toes. <laughs> okay, one down. <laughs> Now it seems to get a lot easier from here. Bells hate. Bing combo. Rock hack. Send them to the horny jail. No. I need experience points. Hey, you need a hundred gold! Jam in the live room, my party four! Level up, level up, level up. You found the Dark Bowser suit, an art of. Yeah. Hello, Bowser's side story. I gained nine the levels. Okay, I'm not getting Cosmic Mario. It's not worth it. Alright. Yeah. You're not. No, I am gonna show off. Get the Dark Bowser suit on. The next time, we do Culex.
And what's that? Yeah. Or drain. Dark aura. Alright. Next time, we face Culex. Actually, we do the Trace Light Quest and then face Culex. Till then.